الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد what we want to speak about right now in brief is um, the concept of dedication okay dedicating yourself to your studies now and the uh, 40 hadith on seeking knowledge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed us to uh, compile alhamdulillah and publish and many many people alhamdulillah have benefited tremendously from the book I put in there a chapter that uh, goes like seeking knowledge requires great sacrifice and in there I mentioned the hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu that is collected in the Sahih in which he talks about how um, there were some of the companions who complained okay he says some of my brothers from the companions from the Ansar and from the Muhajirin or yani some of the companions they complained about how many hadith he had exclusively or not exclusively but let's say that he exclusively narrated in such a large number there were many hadith that he narrated the other companions narrated but there were so many hadith that he narrated reaching the thousands more than any other companions so he went on to mention that if it wasn't for two verses in the law's book I wouldn't have mentioned anything I wouldn't have narrated anything and he talked about those verses in Surah Al-Baqarah when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, tells us about a clear threat for those who conceal knowledge and those who don't spread knowledge and don't pass on knowledge and he says and once for this then you wouldn't hear anything from me he then went on to talk about how or he said he went on to explain himself further by saying I'll tell you why I have so many hadith and I'll explain to you why I narrated so many traditions he said my brothers from the Ansar he says then they were farmers they worked on their palm trees as you see in the back okay in Medina he said they worked on their date palm trees their animals husbandry of of cattle and so on and so forth he says and as for my brothers from the Muhajirin he says Fakana Yashgalahum Asafku fil Aswak Abil Aswak. He says, as my brothers from Mahajideen, he says then they were merchants and they stay busy with buying and selling. They were busy in the, in the marketplaces making a living, seeking Allah's risk. He says, as for me, I was poor. I was a man who stayed with the Prophet وسلم, and I didn't have much. He says, I stayed with the Prophet and I remained in his company day and night to eat. Okay, so he said, so I was there when they weren't. He said, I remember when they forgot. So therefore, he had so many ahadith. And he went on to tell us how the Prophet Sallallahu made dua for him in that miraculous nature. And he spread out his garment and he put it back to him and he never forgot anything that he heard from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The point here is that if you want to seek knowledge in general, let alone knowledge of hadith, then it's not something that you can do at your own leisure. It's not something that you can do at your own comfort. It's not something that you can think you can do 30, 70, 60, 40, 50, 50. It's not a thing in which you think it's going to come conveniently when you want it, how you want it. Allah. No. Seeking knowledge requires great sacrifice. And Abu Huraira, he made a great sacrifice. He sacrificed a big portion of his worldly life, if not all of it. He didn't have money, he didn't have food, he didn't have the luxury and the comfort that some of the companions enjoyed. Rather, only thing he had was what Muhammad had, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And that's how he got so much of the sunnah. That's why he got so many hadith, and that's why he was able to pass on those different hadith. So the highlighting proof from the hadith is clear. Is that if you want to study, then you have to give it your all. If you want to learn, if you want to take your knowledge, the knowledge of the kitab and of the sunnah to the next level of the Arabic language, then you're going to have to sacrifice. It's not going to come easy on a bed of roses. It's not going to come on a silver platter, as many people unfortunately they think. And I can tell you, me personally, from being overseas for many years out of my life, well, alhamdulillah, one of the biggest flaws and faults that I've seen from brothers coming from America is that they think that it's easy. And they think that it's sweet and they think that it's a piece of cake. And when they come, they're smacked right in the face with this harsh reality. So this is um, another episode of 5 Minutes of Faida. 
We ask Allah Azza wa to make us dedicated in our studies. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Until the next episode, to all of the Hadith disciples and YouTubers upon the Sunnah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.